Former Weasel-in-Chief Barack Obama is popping his head out on social media to make demands after the recent mass shooting in Parkdale, Florida. Now, the deep state ringleader is waking up to a brutal surprise instead, and rightfully so. In the words of Barack Obama's former chief of staff Rahm Emanuel, you never want a serious crisis to go to waste. This crisis provides the opportunity for us to do things that you could not before. Based on his recent outburst on Twitter, it appears that Obama is sticking to his former administration's motto. Adi adds by of content after Wednesday's horrific mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, where 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz murdered 17 innocent people, which included students and faculty, Obama seized the moment and surfaced on Twitter to push gun control. Obama wrote, We are grieving with Parkland. But we are not powerless. Caring for our kids is our first job. And until we can honestly say that we're doing enough to keep them safe from harm, including long overdue, common sense gun safety laws that most Americans want, then we have to change. Final photos taken just moments before tragedy struck poplaster.com X ads by Rev Content find out more greater than 13,249. Perhaps Obama's memory is a little foggy or HES just the hypocritical douchebag we all believe him to be. Either way, the fast and furious former president who is directly responsible for at least one border protection agency is now lecturing America about the need for gun control. Ads by Rev Content doing this before bed could help you regrow your hair. Watch this regrow hair. XY doctors in the know no longer prescribe diabetes medication. Heatic tips X the unusual link between coconut oil and Alzheimer's memory repair. X this is a little ironic after the Obama administration was caught walking guns into the hands of dangerous Mexican cartels and gangs for the purpose of turning public opinion in the favor. That colossal failure resulted in Agent Brian Terry's in 2010. The problem with Obama's tweet is obvious. When he says, we're grieving with Parkland, grieving would require a conscience, and it's very unlikely that Obama has won. Twitter users who saw Obama's post had some brutal responses which had to crush the narcissist's ego as he woke to them this morning. Twitter user William Stevens said, get lost corrupt Obama, maybe the FBI would have had time to stop this deranged punk, if they weren't busy chasing your promoted Russia collusion narrative. I agree with William Stevens completely. We would all be better off if Obama would simply get lost or, better yet, arrested. There's a mountain of corruption and criminal acts for which he and many officials in his former administration should be held accountable. Another user who goes by Al's no wrote, you lie. The phrase common sense gun safety laws is just that, a phrase. No one knows what it means so no one could legitimately agree with it. Just more blah 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 from you. In my book, this is a perfect response to Obama's claim to want common sense gun safety laws. That is really just liberal talk for disarming American citizens so that a police state can be implemented. Twitter user David Poe had a brutal question for Obama. He asked, how are those gun control laws working out for Chicago? Just go back to doing what you do best, promoting racism and terrorism and leave running the country to those who love it. The truth hurts, and Chicago is a perfect example of how the strictest gun laws are. Not the solution to preventing more shootings. The bottom line is that Obama doesn't care about saving lives or preventing more mass shootings. His number one objective is an unarmed population and socialist police state, and that sounds an awful lot like communism. Another Twitter user named Deborah Green wrote, Law-abiding citizens have the right to protect themselves from evil people. That boy is pure evil. You love the word progressive, well the violence in the world has grown. We now must address the issue of protecting our children not disarming the mentors. Deborah is right. Law-abiding citizens do have the right to protect themselves under the Second Amendment. Liberals know there would be hell to pay if they ever tried to abolish our right to bear arms, which is why Barack Obama didnt even attempt it when he had a supermajority during his presidency. But they will erode it with common sense gun control. Final photos taken just moments before tragedy struck poplaster.com X ads by Rev Content find out more greater than 8,435. The truth of the matter is, mass shootings aren't a result of a gun problem but rather a people problem. Liberals don't want to admit that the no-absolute society they promote is largely responsible for a decline in your average American's moral compass, and that is the real problem that needs corrected.